My cider is ready to be bottled or kegged and before I do that I want to clarify it. I'm going to use a product called Sparkaloid to make it crystal clear. This is a mead that I made and I put Sparkaloid in it about five days ago and you can see the difference between the, the cider and how cloudy it is and how clear the mead is. So before I add the sparkaloid to the cider, I first want to transfer it off the sediment. So I'm going to transfer it into another vessel and then add the sparkaloid. I've transferred my cider over and now I'm getting ready to add the sparkaloid. If you look and see at this carboy that I transferred from, I did leave a fair amount of cider in the bottom because I'm clarifying this and I didn't want to pick up any sediment. I did probably leave a little extra more than what I needed to, um, but that's just part of the winemaking game. So my next step, I'm going to add a little bit of potassium metabisulfate to the cider just to make sure that I kill off any wild yeast, as well as help preserve the flavor and the color of the cider. So I just added a quarter of a teaspoon for the whole entire carboy, and this is a five gallon carboy. And then I'm going to add the sparkaloid. This is one tablespoon of sparkaloid in one cup of water and it was boiled for five minutes and then I just let it cool. And now I'm just gonna add that in. There's a little bit left in the bottom so I'll scrape what I can out. And finally, just give it a good stir. This is my sanitizing spray. Make sure that it gets thoroughly mixed. Okay, that's good. Pop on my stopper and airlock and now I'm just going to let it sit for five days and I should be able to bottle or keg it in about a week. It's been five days since I added Sparkaloid to my cider and as you can see, see it is just crystal clear right now. This is a cider that I'm currently aging, so you can see the major difference between the two, um, with one being clear. I am going to keg this cider because I like a carbonated cider, and truly the only safe way for a home winemaker to have carbonated cider is to keg it and force carbonate it. There are some ways that you can have carbonation in a bottle with cider, but it does involve using either artificial sugar for a sweetener, or you'd have to pasteurize it, which can be very dangerous and actually um, not really recommended for anybody. So all I have to do at this point in time is drop my auto siphon into my cider and transfer it into my clean sanitized keg, and I will have sparkling cider in about a week.